Hey, Lolo, coming up, we got UFC 271 coming up in not too long. It's only a week and a half or something away. Whitaker Adesanya, uh, main event, man. What are your thoughts on on that one? Did you watch the last fight between uh, Whitaker and Adesanya? Yes, I, I, I did. I, I, I watched it, and and I think um, I think it's going to be a much better fight this time. You know, it's a different environment, different uh, approach from the, you know, from from the Whitaker's camp. Uh, before they did probably perhaps didn't believe that Israel get get hit that hard. But this is one of those freaky fighters that um, he can put you in a position where he doubled his power. Uh, so, um, and, and I'm sure they are well aware of that. And I know uh, uh, Robbie will be a lot more patient this time. Uh, he's going to be, you know, he's not going to rush in like he did last time. Uh, but, you know, you never, you never know. You never know what he's going to do anyways. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Man, you see like uh, Izzy just keeps progressing all the time, man. And yeah, I don't know if, if uh, Rob can can keep upskilling as much as Adesanya, you know, he seems to be improving every single time you see Adesanya fight, right? Well, I mean, his defensive uh, takedown and, and how he got out uh, of Vittori's um, rear naked choke when he looked like what he did, it was very impressive, you know. Um, you know, nine out of ten people will be choked out from that, and and he got out of it. And uh, I can just see the the look on Victoria's face when Izzy got out of that. There was there was there was a, there was the trump card, you know. Yeah. And didn't he did he did win the game. So so uh, you know you know in in during the early days, uh, strikers like Israel, um, you know, you take them down, and then you pretty much have a upper hand. That's not a case anymore. I mean, I, we, we talk about, uh, I've never been so far off the mark when we talk about Nanu and, and, and uh, Kane. Yeah, yeah. But I expect uh, Nanu to, to wrestle, you know? It, it just shows you that, you know, the fighters are getting, you know, different levels now and, you know, and they sort of round up their, their games, that, you know? Because before you could tell the wrestler and the striker, you know, people that are watching um, Justin Gaethje now, they, they thought he was a striker all his life, but he comes from wrestling background. So uh, the game definitely evolved, and, and and you definitely need to work on your general games. Um, you, you can't expect to go in there and then thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big bunch of it. I'm going to rely on that. I'm going to work a little bit of of uh, wrestling basic. And, you know, now everybody accomplished on almost everything. Yeah, man. Yeah, the Whitaker in the last fight looked like he um he thought he could strike without a Sanya, right? And also just like you said, he was impatient, right? Like he just wanted to take Izzy's head off. And um, I think, yeah, for sure, one hundred percent he's gonna be trying to implement some sort of wrestling game, whether it's just mixing in takedowns or or um, you know, trying to take him down. He's gonna try, but the whole question is, can he? Because everyone thinks they want to take Izzy down, and the only one successful is the heavier guy so far, Jan Blakovich, right? So, yeah, I don't know if he can do it. And can he? And once he gets him down there, can he keep him down? Because he's pretty slippery. Exactly, and and that's why the you know, um, but you know, to me, the the, the fighter who established uh, defending against Izzy's jab and actually, you know, defend against leg to shut him out. The one that might have a chance to, to, to have a, a more sort of even uh, uh, fight with, with uh, you know, with Izzy. I mean, uh, we, we saw a big yarn, but, you know, he came in and he was, he learned a few jabs on Izzy and defended well against the, 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 the low kick, which is uh, easy to um, use that and able to find his range. And then, um, they did the homework and uh, and took Izzy out from that and, and which led to that to that win against like Izzy. But you know, um, I don't know what Robbie's Robbie hasn't got the reach, hasn't got the, you know. Um, and then uh, and that's why he was able to to, to take Izzy down because Izzy uh, started to, to get heavy in his legs so he can sit more in his punches, you know. Uh, and you know, but Jan 
if nothing else, and I stuffed it, I'm gonna take it down and then try and keep him down and control him. And uh, yeah, so I don't know how um, how Wittigas camps, but I'm sure they'll have some kind of plan anyway. Yeah, man. Did you? What do you think of Whitaker's style, man? His stand-up style. He's he's normally like predominantly a striker, right? In all his fights in the past, so like he was expecting to go in there and be able to strike with Izzy, and and then he realized obviously that he's just those few inches away from him on everything, like on the head kicks, on the punches. He was just missing him, you know. What do you think of Whitaker's style? Like he's kind of got a weird evasive footwork, right? Well, yeah, he's he's a yeah, Whitaker is a very very clever guy. You know, and 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 um, and he's he has a lot more arsenal than, than most people think. Um, you know, he can sneak up on you and and, and, and throw a, a very bad intent head kick with either foot. Uh, and we saw that against uh, Romero and uh, Suarez when he was fighting them. Uh, you know, just out of the blue. But you know, uh, Three years ago, he qualified for the Australian wrestling team for the Commonwealth Games, you know, and he had to fight seasoned wrestlers, and uh, you know, so you know, there you go, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's everybody now they're almost at their level, they're almost like a complete fighters on everything they do. So yeah, we, we just have to to see who's got a better plan on uh, you know next week uh, is going to win the fight, but. I, I, I just I just think that Israel's um, arsenals on his strikes and, and experience in strike uh, together with his um, you know good defensive takedown, I, I, I think uh, I'll, I'll still gonna put my money on Israel. Yeah, and he's also, um, Whitaker's also a BJJ black belt, obviously been training for a long time. So this is what everyone thinks he has the edge in, but that athleticism of Adesanya, that's the thing he has to beat, I think, in that in that respect, right? Yeah. Well, and that, that, that's what happened. Uh, that's why Jan was forcing him to 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 live with probably the most flat-footed I've, I've seen in Israel against Jan, because I think that's, uh, he got rattled with some good quality jabs from, um, you know, from Jan. And, and um, so easy was, I think it was, he, he tried to hang in there and run sit more in punches uh, so he can and and to head Jan. But you know, in doing that, he was flat footed to get taken down. So uh, I'm pretty sure um, Eugene and the boys would have worked something out and make sure that it doesn't happen against uh, Robert Whittaker. Yeah, man. Hey, jumping on to another one on the same card Blood Diamonds having his debut um, in UFC after obviously having. Many, many stand-up fights and only three uh, MMA fights. What's your opinion of Mike and how his uh, his style is uh, for MMA? I can't remember. Who do they call in UFC the, the nightmare? The, what's the nickname? Somebody, they, they call him the nightmare uh, UFC. Uh, what was it? The, oh, yeah. The Nigerian guy. The, the, what do I do? Kamara Usman. Or... Yeah. Well, I tell you now, this is the real nightmare. Diamond, Art Diamond is the most going to be predictable fighter the FC, UFC ever going to watch. You know, he's so unpredictable. Um, he may work again. He may wait. He may wait again. Work again, but you know, uh, especially when uh, if he leaves himself wide open for the takedown. But this guy, you know, he'll turn around, side on, and then he'll, he'll try to do something else. And then, uh, even Israel had trouble with him sparring. Uh, Israel was admitting was saying that this guy is so unorthodox, so so awkward to do, uh, you know, to fight. And and um, hey, but it's working for him, you know, for some reason. Uh, Eugene and the boys have has sort of, uh, you know, uh, polished all those, you know, and 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 make those unorthodoxness uh, work for him. So I can't wait. And then win or lose, people. His opponent will have nightmares guessing what this guy is. This guy, so he does the, you know, the most awkward thing and the most thing that last thing you think about. You know? Yeah, he himself at the time. <laughs> yeah, uh, he kind of sounds like that actually when he uh, talks. Yeah, yeah. He, um, Eugene said that he that this guy is uh, really taking to MMA well, and that you wish that he started him into the MMA 
a little bit earlier the other day in an interview. So obviously he's got a pretty natural uh, athleticism or something, right? He's got fast reaction. And then, you know, uh, you can teach a young fighter all you like being for strike and all you know, the reaction. Yeah, this guy, he he can feel the movement. He can feel the, you know, when you mix it with him, you know, he, he feels it. Um, you know, there's a thing in Tanku called a uh, where you roll with the punch and then you can use it to your, you know, uh, use it to a reaction uh, counter fight. And he does it on an open fight. And I'm pretty sure he does it also when he get taken down, he can roll and and go with the with the flow and and, and and get out of it. You know, that's just what I'm guessing. And of course they'll be working on, on the technical side of it, but he's got that 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 reaction and 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 um an ability to you know just to escape um after he does the most bizarre thing that people's gonna watch. Um this guy you don't know whether he's gonna throw a, a, a spinning bear kick or a rolling thunder or uh, you know. Uh, he, he just so awkward. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, um, what was I going to say? There's another fight, fight I haven't, I think it was his, um, <clears throat> second fight in, uh, in UFC, right? Carlos Ulberg, man. What are your thoughts on Carlos? Carlos is a special athlete. You know, he's very, very strong. He trains hard and, and he's got power in, in both hands. So uh, I think last time was, was a little bit overawed and I think he, uh, he just used his energy a little bit, you know, too much, uh, you know, to shoot to a serious level. But I, I expect a, a, a very good fight with Carlos. Carlos can finish by the fifth round. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's that good, he's that strong and he's that accurate. Yeah, man, the guy, the guy that he's fighting is... Um is about what is it about eight centimeters shorter and and three centimeters reach disadvantage so you got to think carlos works behind his kicks and his uh, straight punches pretty well right so i think he could take advantage of that length yeah yes yes i mean um like i said i mean carlos and you know he can he can bang with his uh, left top to the body he's got a nice front kick on him so i expect him to utilize the front kick against a short opponent uh because they, they work a lot on, on, on takedown defense. You're gonna see uh, Carlos and um, and Mike Diamond um, have more confidence on, on, on striking and, and kicking because they 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 they, they trust themselves and they believe themselves in their defensive uh, takedown defense. So yeah, you know, looking forward to Carlos fight. And you can see some similarities between him and Izzy actually, right? They you can see they train together and obviously from the same gym they got that like you said the. He's got a nice up kick from the front, but lots of nice leg kicks and and nice feints and that. They look similar in a way. It's like a bigger version of Izzy in some ways, yeah. Oh yeah, man. Some sometimes you spar with somebody uh, for a long time, uh, but you know everybody tried to try to um, copy the Izzy's. But you know the next fight you see Izzy do something totally different. Uh, and um, yeah, but in in term or range, dropping the hand down. Just to lure, you know, they don't get fooled by that. You know, see this guy drop the hand down, but they're on a safe distance and, and allow this guy to react. So, you know, as they're getting closer, they're a lot sharper or they hit the hand up. But yeah, you, you, you'll you see them dropping the guys down, hand down to try to lure upon an end. So as long as their range and distance correct, they're going to be safe. Yeah, man. Hey, another yeah. one that's been announced is... um is uh, Dan Hangman Hooker versus Arnold Allen. I don't know if you know Arnold, Arnold Allen at all. He's a, a British guy, sort of up-and-comer man, quite a good um, good record at the moment, 17-1 and one in MMA. Um, what are your thoughts on Dan, man? Dan's need a, a good win. Um, and, you know, but Dan is one of those guys that, you know, um, you know, doesn't face him after they lost last time, you know, um, you know, he 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 didn't have a very fresh uh, uh, starting at the beginning of his uh, career, but then we saw his character when he came back and started, you know, fighting guys like you know, Feld and and um, you know and Poirier and and you know, uh, it's a close fight to beat him. So uh, yeah, I I I expect the, the Hangman to do it up. So yeah. Yeah, man, uh, he's my, I'd say he's probably my favorite fighter, Dan, man. I met him over in Macau a long time ago and uh, sort of followed him since then. It's been good, like you said, to see him improve and get better and better, eh? Yeah, you know, he's, he's, um, 
I mean, as, as much as I like easy and everyone else, uh, then it's my favorite is the fighters. Yeah, man. Well, Lolo, man, I think we've chatted for a while. Looks like Shane's not coming today, so we might uh we might call it a day. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, if you wanna, you know, I mean, with Shane, I, you know, I uh, Shane is one of those fighters that, that I told you before. Um, he got to be right up there. I mean, I, you know, when when he fought um, Alex Alexander, nobody really knew how good or how great Alex, you know, uh, is going to be. And and, and Shane took the fight at short notice. And 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 I knew that even though they uh, they had uh, an arrangement to, to help Alex by putting Shane in, Alex was. He looked like he was the Olympic fighter, not, you know, uh, Shane Yard. Yeah. But Shane, Bobby Cavey, Alex, one of his hardest fights at the time. Of course, nobody really knew how how far and how great Alex going to be. Until you start beating guys like Mendes, Aldous, Holloway, you know, Atiga, then people realize how great Alex is. So, but he wasn't that far from Shane was far from him. So you, you see my comparison where I'm going. So but I I I don't know, I don't know what happened. There's something in there, maybe uh, you know, maybe maybe it's uh, personal or stuff or whatever, but I know for a fact that that Shane hasn't fought to his true potential for some reason. But you know, uh, you should have a, a, a podcast with him and, and you know and find out because I know, I just know he's a much better fighter than he is. Yeah, man. Like you said, he's got a lot of potential. He may be, uh, it might be like a psychological thing that he needs to work on a little bit more just to bring that potential out and, and block out. He's got, a young, he's got a young family and, and stuff. He's a good guy, but you know, maybe one day we'll see the best of, uh, of Shane. But, you know, I, I just couldn't help thinking about the time when he took the fight short notice against Alex and, and, uh, you know, it, it was a war, and then well, nobody really knew how great Alex was, you know, and, until later on. And and uh, and I'm just I'm, I can't help thinking about man, if 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 uh, you know Shane was sort of you know continue on and and work hard with no distraction, maybe he would have been up there as well. Hmm. Hey man, um, Lolo just uh, on the comments. Um, Couple of the guys talking about Connor. If Connor was to fight Dan Hooker, what do you, how do you reckon that fight would go? Connor McGregor, Dan Hooker. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, I think this is the right time to fight Connor now because, you know, I know he's, uh, he's a very outspoken guy and he, you know, um, you know, says the most bizarre things, but, you know, you know, Dan is just an old businessman. Uh, and this is probably the right time for, for Hooker or anyone else to beat him. Um, you know, I think the Irish man is a very, very, very clever guy and then very smart up, upstairs, but I think, but he's human, you know, and, and his, uh, those, those losses, the last couple of losses he had, I'm pretty sure it be four. So it, it would be really good for them to fight him at this big stage now, you know, it's good for them. Um, not just to bring his confidence back, but it's also good for him financially as well. Because, you know, um, yeah, it's going to be a, it's created a lot of interest anyway. Yeah, man. Oh, no. <laughs> interest, yeah. Everyone wants to. What do you call it? Uh, red panties, you know? Yeah, red, red panties, panties. Right. exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All, right, all right, man. Lolo, I'll let you go, man, because, uh, yeah, we're done, but we'll, we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat soon sometime, man. Thanks for thanks for popping on in lieu of uh, Shane. Appreciate no it. Worries. Yeah. Come on, Shane. Come, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. We'll, I'll, I'll give you some okay. shit for sure. You'll feel bad later anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, okay, mate. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, Charles and Whale Rider for coming on, man. Sorry, uh, Shane's not here. We'll work it out another day. We'll be back on Saturday. There's at least one guy called Jack Jenkins, Far Jack Jenkins. He's a Aussie up-and-comer winning a couple of titles in Australia, looking for UFC and also Colby, our normal, normal uh, pro fighter. So, yeah, we'll see you guys then if you're free. Okay. All right, thanks. thanks man. Cheers. Goodbye. Yeah,
Appreciate it.